Cax and I have now played a few games of Seven Wonders Duel, and we'd like to share our thoughts on it with you today, here on Legendary Tactics. So, Seven Wonders Duel, and we'd played a bit of Seven Wonders before. Yeah, we bit back in the day we played. In fact, that's one maybe to dust off, eh? Michelle? I think so. Now that I've, we've, we've gotten into Duel a little bit here. Yeah, I always liked uh, Seven Wonders. I thought it was a, a nice... Yeah, nice design. It's it's well implemented. Yeah, it's a well put together game. And find a review on that uh, in the in the coming months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll we'll have to bring that back to the the table. And well, yeah. the channel is a good excuse to play lots of different games. Exactly. Right? But so. uh, at at, uh, at the forefront today is Seven Wonders Duel, which uh, I think was a, it's it's a hit for me. Yes, I I think it is uh, sort of uh, you know after the just the first few games we're still figuring out the strategy, but. Um, but overall, I think it's a it's a fun game. It it plays quite quickly. Yeah, I could see it actually going pretty fast, especially if once you get the hang of the ebb and the flow in the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. It and it delivers quick. the the seven wonders feel like it feels like seven wonders. Hundred um, percent. But uh, but is obviously it's a two player version of. Uh, seven wonders so yeah and that, that might be a bit of a, t a, a detraction in some ways because you don't have the kind of the chaos of, of three or four players but yeah but i mean you can't play seven wonders with just two players otherwise right so i think it solves that problem. And, and the whole pyramid and the unknown cards behind certain cards that, that get revealed as the game goes is kind of a, a good um kind of catch-up mechanism for that idea Yes, yes. So so what did you... Now, you have the analog games, so what do you think of the components we've played on? Yeah, so we played... I found the cards really nice. It's a nice cardboard feel. There's some pretty actually oversized cards in it. Um, yeah. I like that. Those are the wonders? Yeah, yeah. I thought... Uh, no, I thought it's a very well-constructed, uh, well-built game with quality components. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I thought that at least they're adequate. They're... They may not stand out as being particularly amazing, but they're very they're 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 serviceable. Sufficient. Yeah, they're sufficient. Um, there's there's no kind of like crazy uh, miniatures or anything to worry about. Just you know tokens and I guess just the one token you know. that you uh, you know you move your military piece with, but that's about yeah, it. Yeah, it's a it's a very low. Uh, you know, it's like, it takes no time to set up. There's no, uh, you know, uh, stress in kind of keeping track of components and setting things up that way. It's, Not at it's all. Really Not really. It's yeah. a five minute setup. Yeah. And then the rules. What do you think? Yeah, the rules. Uh, you know what? I was actually a little bit surprised at the difficulty level of the rules, expecting it to be pretty light fare. I noticed yeah. that, uh, you, you know, uh, you being the rules guy, it, it, it did take a little bit of pouring over just to kind of get your head around it. Well, I think if you already play Seven Wonders, it's actually very straightforward. But I hadn't played in a little while, and I remembered uh, a lot of how Seven Wonders worked. But uh, to be honest, I, f I wasn't a big fan of how the rules were laid out. There was a lot of kind of... I felt like there was almost like assumptions that were made as far as the... Um, like card you know, what, text or like what card abilities yeah, and those kinds of things. Symbology and all that. It was, it was a, I think it's fine once you've played a few games. I don't think it's, it's a problem at all. And, and no, 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 not at all. And, and, it, and don't let that but, be a deterrent to, uh, to not getting it because it really is a great game. Yeah. Like I would watch, I would much rather watch a video on how to play than read the rules on it. It's just, uh, it just wasn't as, as uh, friendly as I, you again, would like. I just, yeah, but it wasn't that it was hard. It was just that it, I felt like it almost made assumptions that you already knew what was kind of going on. and When you may and like not have. Of, yeah, yeah. in terms of paying costs and all that, uh, you know, I could see there being a lot of room for um, misinterpretation. But uh, but again, it, once you start playing it and if you have some background with Seven Wonders especially, I, I think you'll pick up the rules pretty quickly. So um, now gameplay. What are your thoughts on uh, overall? Oh, gameplay. I, I think, uh, first off, I really, really love the idea of the way they, they you build the card deck. I think that is so clever. So yeah. that that's one, uh, that's one thing that really, really um, impressed me. I also do like how you start off with the, uh, the four different um, uh, wonders at the very beginning of the game. I think that's a good, a good way to sort of start. You kind of kind of start steering your ship in a certain direction. Yeah, exactly. And you can you can build your civilization around getting those wonders completed. 
you know, as well. Um, Because I imagine, uh, you know, if you if you're the first one to build four, um, then uh, you you've got a bit of an edge, and you know, as in terms of uh, um, you know final scoring or whatever. So it's it's good. Um, Yeah. So the gameplay for me, I thought it's very smooth. The turns are quick, um, and uh, there there's enough. Uh, dis, you know, sort of decision making, there's decision points, uh, but it's not necessarily something where you need to, you know, it's not a brain burner in in that sense, but there's enough that you need to take into consideration that the the decision points are interesting. Yeah, I would definitely call this one like light fare. Yeah. But uh, that being said, I think there's still enough on the bone here to really sink your teeth into something and and sort of puzzle out different strategy, uh, you know, uh, approaches to the game, which kind of makes it, uh, you know, it makes it really fun, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like there are some moves that felt obvious and other ones that did not feel obvious at all. And um, and that's fine. You know, I think, uh, yeah, overall, it's a lighter game, um, which is which is great because it's going to get to the table more often and with more varied uh, players. Uh, so I think they, they succeeded in that front, but if you're, if you love strategy games and deeper strategy games, I I think that there's enough, as you said, meat on the bone here to keep you, uh, to keep you satisfied that way. Well, it's funny you say getting to the table because that for me is a sign of a game of a good game is when I want to play it immediately following. And that's exactly what I said to you, uh, when we played the other night, (laughs) after we were done, I wanted to play again. So (laughs) it wasn't because you lost. It's because you just wanted to play again. right? No, because I wanted to figure it. Well, I did lose. (laughs) Yes. Yes. (laughs) But I also, I, I'm, it, it was also figuring out the, uh, sort of figuring out the uh, unlocking some 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 doors what what you know yeah. where did i go wrong and how can i correct it so it was kind of uh, yes. solving the solving the puzzle yes absolutely and it does it does feel a bit puzzly as a game it's you know if you like that kind of feeling of you know trying to optimize and uh, th- your setup and puzzle through something i think it's it's got some some good stuff there and then as far as the theme goes yeah i mean i i'm i'm a history buff so seven wonders uh you know even the original all of that any anything in the ancient ancient civ genre for me is is a, a home run so that that's never a problem and I, I i love a lot of the stuff they worked into it here too with the uh uh, um, well, we had the, the Col- Colossus and, uh, you know, all those different, uh, yeah, the Sphinx and so forth. Yeah. So that was neat. It was, it was right up my alley. How, how about yourself? Yeah. Well, I mean, the theme is fairly generic because like, for example, you can build the Sphinx and the Colossus in the same civilization. You know, <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Hanging gardens. And, um, it's, it's fine. I don't, I don't feel the theme is pasted on. Uh, like, you know, some games, uh, especially in the Euro genre where it's like, you know, the the engine is designed first and then they add the theme in second. Okay. But I didn't feel the theme was super strong either. I didn't feel like I was making decisions based on um, managing my civilization. I felt it was based on, you know, what gave me the, 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 the best... Um, tactical advantage kind moment. of... Yeah, best tactical advantage... So it wasn't, it's not a, a, a world builder where you, you can say, wow, I built this amazing civilization. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, but, uh, but the theme is integrated reasonably well and it does uh, work. You know, I, it's, it's, it's right in that middle ground between, you know, uh, something where it's so, it's dripping in themes so much that it almost impedes the gameplay versus, uh, you know, something where uh, a theme is. It's, totally it's basically the afterthought. On. Yeah. Yeah. So it's right in the well, middle. Well, no, of that. I remembering and that it's light fair, I think is very important. Yeah. If if you remember that it's a light fair game, then you know, the theme of, you know, ancient civilization are also it's going to be light fair, but it's going to yeah. add to the flavor of what you're doing. Yes. And it is everything is very abstracted as well. You you build your army, you move your military strength one or two spaces or three spaces down a track you know like it's very abstracted in that yeah. sense we should mention too it is all card driven yes it is yeah and things like production and so forth again like you have a card on your you know in your little city area or whatever and it produces a brick and that's you know but there's you know there's no like when i think of a game like brass you know and brass is so 
that's when where the th- the theme really is is where you're building literally a, a network of manufacturing and and you you know building coal and iron and cotton mills and you know that kind of thing and and the mechanics are really deeply integrated with the theme right um this one is not quite as deep as that but it's oh no i imagine not yeah yeah so final thoughts what do you think overall well you know like i said earlier it's it's a game that i wanted to get to the table immediately following the the previous game so that's that's always a a sign of a a really uh a well put together uh, enjoyable game yeah it's light fair but i think that actually might make mean it gets to the table more often because uh, you know it'll be it'll be um, appealing to a, a broader swath of uh, of gamers. Yes, and and for me, I I really like it. I think it's a great game. Uh, it doesn't necessarily call to me in the same way where I'm like I have to play this you know game like ten times in a row or or the next night or anything like that. But it's it's fine. You know, it's it's enjoyable. I think it's a good either warm up or cool down. Uh, game for uh, for people who like heavier fare, but that's also my preference is the heavier fare, right? Yeah, so, yeah. I guess if I had one criticism, it would be uh, the scorekeeping at the end and the the yeah, you know you'd have to go through all the different uh, you know and it, it it is common when you have the the score sheet there, but uh, with yes. with a diff- like a Cascadia for example or those kind of games where yeah you have to go through and you do have to kind of tally up everything in the end, so. Yeah, and it's a bit of a point salad as well, and that uh, point salad game being where there's lots of ways to get points, um, and there is. That's true. You know? That's so, true. Yeah, um, but overall, though, I I think it's a it's a solid game, and if you like Seven Wonders, I think you'll you'll like this one too. It it definitely carries the uh, the feeling of playing Seven Wonders over into the new two player format. Um, so for that for that, I think it succeeds at exactly what it was trying to do. Yeah, and if you've played Seven Wonders and have some uh, ideas, opinions, and thoughts on it, please uh, comment below and let us know. We'd love to hear them. Yeah, and thanks again for watching. Um, This is Nato. This is Cax. And this is... Legendary Tactics. Legendary Tactics.